Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lucy and I do fashion and style videos here on YouTube and today um, I have potentially one of my most requested pieces of content ever. I have so many messages and DMs about this topic and it is workwear. Um, I'm going to take you through the different categories that I think are an essential pieces that I think are essential in building out that timeless, chic, classic, capsule workwear wardrobe. And I'm going to try some bits on for you, style them, show you what I think works together and yeah, just um, talk you through each individual piece and hopefully inspire you um, for your own workwear wardrobe. So category number one is tops. I would say it's best to have a mix of different tops but a classic is obviously like I'm wearing just now a white button down or a silk shirt you can vary um, one of the main themes throughout this video will be about how you make it work for you you know your own body you know what suits you your shape what colors suit you um, so I would definitely always when you're looking at different capsule wardrobe videos or whatever, always keep in mind that you have to kind of tweak it towards what suits you best. But most people will suit in a different style of button down, blouse, shirt or whatever. And it's a classic. I love a silk one. This one is just from Lily Silk. And I just think with like these black trousers and then a classic belt, it really just like, elevates it rather than just a kind of cotton or um, linen in the summer. I think this silk just elevates it, takes it to a different level and yeah it's just one of those classic pieces that I think that we should all have. Another top that I love is just a basic black tee. I think these are amazing to wear under just like a blazer. You can wear it with this and then wear a kind of dressier blazer over if you need something for under a cardigan or a jumper. These basic black t-shirts are just a workwear staple in my eyes. Another top that I would always have in my workwear wardrobe is a high neck knit top. Now this is a sleeveless one but that's just because it suits me better. Um, I prefer to, especially if I'm wearing all black, like black trousers and this, I just love that you can see the skin and it adds something but again you could also wear a blazer or a cardi, anything over it. Um, but this is super flattering, just wearing this together with black, black trousers, um, black skirt, it, is, it just kind of pulls you in, you can like cinch in your waist with the belt, but yeah, these super kind of, it's more like a mock neck I would call this than like a, a roll neck, um, and it is gorgeous, it's just a simple piece, but the because it's kind of rib knit, it adds something extra to it, it elevates it a little bit. Um, but one thing I would say about these basics is try and invest a little bit into them. They'll last longer, they'll be better material, so they'll suit you better, they'll fit better to the body. I would definitely recommend that for your kind of basic tops that I'm showing you just now. Saying that, however, I do love these Zara bodies. I just wanted to show you that because it is, in all colours, these are a great staple to pair under things, even just for layers if you need it um, for warmth in the winter. 
Um, but yeah, these are great, especially if you're just doing like a suited look and you don't want to wear a shirt because it's too stuffy. These are amazing. And another type of top that I love is this kind of neutral colored top here. But I love this style with the kind of V and um, the collar because it just works so well with skirts. I love a pleated skirt um, for a worker wardrobe and these just look so classy. I love this collar detail. Um, and again, if you don't feel comfortable with having your arms out, either get one, you can get them with sleeves or you can just pop a blazer or a cardi over it and it just gives that something extra with this beautiful material and um, this lovely collar here. Next up we're going to move on to bottoms and firstly I am wearing these Effortless Pants by Aritzia and I could not recommend these enough for a workwear wardrobe, for any wardrobe, but specifically workwear because they are super flattering. Um, I love to wear them with flats, I love to wear them like just now I'm wearing them with my um, Chanel sling back, so it's got a little bit of a block heel, but they look amazing with a heel, like a full heel, they look great with boots, they are just a versatile piece that is great to have and that is, that is the main thing when you're creating the capsule wardrobe specifically for workwear because you want to be able to to wear these pieces over and over again and definitely feel comfortable in them if you're wearing them every day but you also want to look chic and you don't want to look just basic workwear you want to look chic you want to look classy and these trousers are incredible for that they fit fabulous they flow really well and I genuinely couldn't recommend them enough. However, not um, everyone likes this style of a kind of flowy trouser, so I would also recommend a cigarette pant. These are from Me and M, um, which is a lovely British brand, but they are the best cigarette trouser that I have ever worn. I have tried many, I've bought lots of different pairs from Zara, and I never find they fit me quite the way that they should. They're often sometimes too baggy here. I have um, long legs but also a long torso um, like in comparison and these trousers are just perfect. I would 100% recommend that trousers are something that you will want to invest a little bit of money in um, because they really can make or break that silhouette. But yes, skinny cigarette trousers are an incredible choice. Um, for your workwear wardrobe because there's so many ways that you can pair them. Valley flats, loafers, boots, they're just the opportunities are literally endless. But um, yes, so these are another essential and I will show you some ways on how I style them. Another workwear hero piece, the pleated skirt or even just a midi skirt if you don't like pleats. Um, so classic, can be worn again with a boot, with a heel, a court shoe, a ballet flat, a loafer. Honestly, the opportunities in styling these are endless. Again, I will show you that in a second. But this um, one is from Arquette and it is beautiful material. Again, I think it was around £60, £70. I would definitely recommend investing in these. I know a Ritzy I do, I think it's called a twirl skirt um, and they are beautiful but it is a piece that you will wear so many times, you can wear it throughout the seasons, um, either wear it with tights or with bare legs in the summer and it's just a classic piece that honestly it sits so perfectly and it flows perfectly and it just makes you look super classy. I would absolutely recommend one of these or again any kind of midi skirt. Um, with a really nice material will just um, 
just looks super, super classy. And again, you can cinch it in with a belt or you can put a blazer over, the, over it and then cinch the, bit, the blazer in with the belt. There are so many different ways to wear a piece like this. Another one that I just wanted to mention was, I know people might say because it's the summer just now, but it is getting into August, so here it means it's basically autumn now, but um, this kind of style of slouchy pan, but in a linen material is so classic, and I think these are great in the summer because you can still wear this style with the ballet flat, um, and say like the black tee and then a blazer over and it looks super classy. You can pop loafers on when it gets a bit cooler and I just feel like that the lighter colour might intimidate people but actually if you pair it with a darker top and darker blazer it can still look super classy. Um, so yes, I would absolutely recommend in the summer, why not mix it up a little and get a nice linen blend trouser um, that has that kind of effortless slouchy like, feel. Now we're going to move on to some jackets and coats, blazers, etc. But I did want to mention quickly knitwear. So knitwear is, I prefer a finer knit, um, but because I do wear a lot of blazers and I know that uh, I do like that kind of suit silhouette, um, I tended not to wear a knit. And I only really wear the knits when I am wearing it just with a trouser. Um, or even the skirt. I like to pair this one with the skirt and then a boot or a flat. Um, but yeah, I, I think that a fine knit, especially with a V-neck, can be super classy, round neck also, um, just paired with your trousers and then under the blazer. I wouldn't do a chunkier one, but this kind of style is perfect for um, if you're wearing what you want to wear it with, your pleated skirt or your midi skirt, or you just want to kind of put on your, your trousers with, with a shirt and then wrap this around your shoulders. It looks so classy. Um, but a neutral colour like this is perfect. Try and like go for a slightly warmer tone. Um, black is great also, but for these ones that you're going to pair on their own with the collar and the v-neck, I would definitely recommend to warm it up a little bit and add that little bit of tone um, to your work for a wardrobe. And speaking of adding in those warmer tones, I like to do that with jackets and blazers. So I have a selection of different blazers here. Um, black is obviously one of my favourites to wear and I will always wear black. I don't tend to wear grey just because it doesn't suit me, but a grey suit or even a grey blazer with um, a dark coloured trouser is classic and suits a lot of people, it looks amazing. But I tend to go with either kind of light neutral colour like this. Um, this is a linen blazer so it's perfect for the summer and like warmer days um, like for just now. But I love this also because it is boxy. And I feel like if you're wearing a skinny trouser on the bottom it's really great to balance it out with a more boxy blazer. Just pulls you in at the waist and then gives you that nice silhouette. 
Um, and, and again, if you're wearing, if you don't feel comfortable, if you're wearing a slouch or a trouser and you don't feel comfortable with a boxing blazer, then that's what I would say to go for the more fitted style for the buttons um, so it can kind of bring it in, looks beautiful. But I have also got the classic black blazer. I also love a checked blazer. There, again, it's all about making it work for you, what suits you, what style looks good on you. Um, there's so many beautiful options, but this is just what suits me, hence why I'm showing you. So yeah, this kind of style, I like a single breasted or a double breasted. The opportunities are honestly endless, but I would just pair this with this outfit, put it over my shoulders, pop it on. I love, love a suit look. Um, and yeah. So yeah, I absolutely love a suited look. Um, I think it's so classy and can also be worn. You don't have to buy the full suit. You don't have to, to buy one that matches. I love to kind of mix and match what you have. If you can mix and match colors, tones, anything, patterns, like if you want to do a black on the bottom, then simple and then a checked on the top, um, a pinstripe. I think that looks so gorgeous together. But yeah, blazers are really a staple for me um, in my capsule wardrobe anyway, but definitely in your workwear capsule wardrobe. But again, take some time, invest in good quality blazers and take the time to really find out what style suits you. Is it a double breasted? Does buttons, do buttons um, suit you better? Do they look good on you? What is it that makes you feel good? That's one of the biggest things about this as well, is that you really want to feel amazing. You want to look chic, you want to look classic, and you want to feel your best. And that's one of the reasons that I love clothes in general, because they just make me feel amazing. Wearing an outfit like this just makes me feel so classy and so powerful. And I think that it can really transform how you feel about you. And then that like can go into your day and make you you work better, make you have um, a better attitude. I really don't know why it does that, but it can completely transform, um, can transform your feelings about yourself and so on. But other than that, I would say because we're still in August, very early August, um, I'm not yet wearing a coat, so I just kind of pulled this one out. Um, this kind of style of tailored classic coat black navy and um, you could do camel again whatever suits you but this silhouette works well with everything it works well over your trousers your cigarette trousers your flowy trousers it literally works well with everything so i would recommend just a simple structured coat or also a wrap coat is a great um, alternative i have both i have a camel wrap coat and then this and they are just staples throughout the, the winter season that I am wearing them. But again, I just love these buttons. So classic, so chic. And this coat I've had for years, it's a really good quality wool, even though it is from Zara. And um, it was a little bit on the pricey side for Zara, um, but I would definitely recommend it. Um, to, to put a little bit of effort in to find the, the pieces. H&M do great wool pieces and so does Zara. Um, just look at the label and see if they're using the Italian wool and they will usually last longer. You spend a little bit more money but they will last. You just get them dry cleaned every season and they are perfect. Just now, I'm one of my other 
favourites is a trench. This is a sleeveless trench because I've been wearing it in the summer because it always rains here. Um, and I just love the idea of the sleeveless trench, kind of like a dress and you can belt it, but a trench is a classic work wardrobe piece. You will never go wrong with a trench. And again, you can add your own belt if you don't like that. There's so many ways that you can kind of style it up, make it like you. Um, it doesn't have to be like boring. It doesn't have to be like look old, like look too mature for you. There are so many ways that you can style a trench. This one is just from H&M. I would suggest maybe, again, if you're going to be wearing it all the time, if you live somewhere that it does rain and it, you don't always need a heavier coat and you just want to wear a trench, I would definitely suggest investing a little bit of money into one. It is so worth it. it is, you're going to have these pieces for season after season, year after year, and it's so much more sustainable just to invest a little bit and get a great quality piece that makes you feel amazing, it suits your body, it fits your body well, those are the pieces that will see you through and make this building of your timeless capsule wardrobe so much easier and essentially you'll save money long term because all these pieces, pretty much most of these ones anyway, I've had for years and I just still wear, um, so it's definitely worth it. And the final category is accessories. So. Workwear wardrobe, I think the best way is to keep it super simple and classic. So I wear this beautiful um, Hermes belt and I would suggest something not super branded, simple belt like just black or whatever again fits in well with your, your workwear wardrobe, um, tan colour, whatever it may be and just a really small clasp, something that just like can pull in your trousers, cinch your waist, isn't overpowering and doesn't look like it's too much. I think that something that just really simple and chic is best when it comes to belts because again you can take it off, you can belt your trench with it, you can belt your blazers, you can do so many, there's so many ways that you can wear just a kind of simple classic belt and it really will be a key piece in your um, workwear capsule wardrobe because you'll find yourself accessorising with it and you can completely change an outfit. Um, this outfit really doesn't look as great without, it looks good, but it just the belt elevates it, brings it to another level. And so yes, I absolutely think that that is worth it. And another reason that I love this belt in particular is because it matches my favourite bag. Now for work bags, I would say just keep it classic, simple. This is the Mulberry, I think it's called the Belted Bayswater and it is so durable. You can literally, I have taken this everywhere on so many trips, whatever, every day, sit it down, not overly taking care of it and it still looks incredible, it fits everything in it, it fits my Louis Vuitton planner, it fits my laptop, it fits so much, um, it does get heavy but still it does fit a lot and it's just a great alternative to a leather tote, um, I love that style but again just a classic whatever it may be for you, if you prefer a tote, if you just like a smaller bag, whatever suits your needs I would say Go with something classic and something neutral that will work in well with all of your pieces together so that you never feel like you're clashing with it. And just something super timeless and very, let's say minimal. So that again, it's not clashing, it just looks chic and it adds to your outfit. So yeah, I would, definitely recommend that bag in particular but also 
um, any kind of tote, classic leather bag, simple, simple silhouette, simple style, keep it simple and you won't regret it, definitely not. And the final thing with accessories is obviously shoes. So shoes, my staples would be a ballet flat. I'll show you. These ones are my Chanel ballet flats. I absolutely adore them. They are classic style, super comfortable. And um, once you break them in, they're super comfortable. But they just work well, they look great with the skinny cigarette trousers, any kind of ballet flat look great with the skinny cigarette trousers, they look great with these trousers, they look beautiful with the skirt, um, they just look classic, they look timeless, they, that, that style specifically with the cap toe really elongates your leg if you have a shorter leg, so they are perfect. Any kind of ballet flat, quilted, whatever, any kind of ballet flat really is a work wardrobe essential, um, and then I also have the same style in the slingback version um, which I'm wearing just now but they have a block heel of about this much I'll show you in one of the cutaways um, and it just kind of lifts you and it really ele elevates you and elongates your legs so a block heel is great but also these are so comfortable to walk around in every day I do it all the time and I, they don't pinch my feet so that kind of um, court shoe but with a, a kind of lower block heel I would definitely recommend um, also a loafer without that is great something you get the loafer with the thicker heel comfortable chic they look great with all the different styles of trousers they look great with the skirt they look great with dresses now I don't wear a lot of dresses other than like summer dresses I, I wouldn't wear like a more formal dress so but if you do they look great with that also what looks great with that is a boot so these are my favorite awesome winter boots and i would definitely recommend this style for your capsule workwear wardrobe it's classy and um, it looks incredible with the trip like underneath your trousers you can wear it especially well, not the skinny trousers but the floaty trousers and um, you can wear it with the skirt they look super gorgeous with the skirts and just pull your coat over you can wear it with a skinnier trouser wear it with tights and, and a dress there are so many ways that you can wear this and they are definitely more comfortable like these boots are super comfortable i can walk around in them all day even though they have quite a big heel um but yes with a kind of either a, a mini dress or a shorter skirt these looks they kind of make it more classy and then you can add your blazer or your um, your coat over on top of that and it will just look chic and classic. So that is all of my different categories and kind of a quick fire um, round of all of the pieces that I would recommend. I feel like I've rambled on here. I hope that I haven't spoke too fast. This is really, I haven't done a video like this before other than the quick intro that I did with the one previously. Um, so I hope it has been helpful. I will, if you have any questions, please do let me know if you want more in-depth detail, if you want a better styling video where I can show you different ways to wear different pieces. Um, yeah, just leave, the, leave that in the comments and I will try my best. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you loved this video and that you found it helpful.